Well, I thought uh, a little bit in the third, um, you know, that second half in general, uh, some of the offensive rebounding, you know, volume free throws in that third quarter, you know, I think that hurt us a little bit, allowed them to set their defense. We didn't, uh, took really good care of the ball that first half and had a, several turnovers in that four, uh, third, I believe seven um, turnovers in that quarter. So it kind of got us off, off balance a little bit. But in general, I you know thought the, the effort and overall intent was better tonight. Uh, the defensive disposition was, was much better. Um, so, you know, you come up short, but you know, I thought that was a um, somewhat of a bounce back for us. What did you see in the first quarter with those back cuts? I think they had four baskets of back cuts. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's just kind of an awareness. You know, you're in a shrink spot and just knowing how much help to give. Uh, also, you know, understanding that's a strength of this team. They, uh, they cut really well and generate a lot of points that way. So just having an awareness for, um, you know, being a step below your, your offensive man and, and head on a swivel a little bit. But um, clean that up a little bit in the, in the second half, obviously, but that, that's certainly something to take a look at. In the fourth quarter, does your team's offense lose a lot of the thrust that it's looking for? I understand that Orlando was at the line a lot. Well, they, I got to give them credit. They, you know, they got some really quality defenders. So they, they got into us a little bit. Um, it takes your tempo away, obviously, the free throws, um, which, you know, plays in our favor. But, you know, I'm not going to take anything away from Orlando. They, they do a really good job defensively. Um, you know, they pressure a little bit. Uh, but that, that's most fourth quarters. You know, it's, the game's going to slow, and you got to grind it out and find, you know, best possessions. Coach, you, your thoughts on uh, Paolo and Franz, uh, what kind of problems are they presenting for, for teams out there? Yeah, you know, they got positional size, um, both able to play uh, pick and roll, score on three levels, you know, stretch you a little bit from three, play off the bounce, can post you. So, you know, with those guys both on the floor at the three and the four, um, you know, a lot of nights teams want to switch, you know, one through three, one through four, that you can't do that. Um, so it kind of stretches you that way. Um, you know, I think both guys uh, play with their own, at their own pace. So it's tough to speed them up. You know, very good in the pocket, you know, slow playing drives and do a great job of finishing through contact. Uh, so it's, it's quite the duo. And, you know, because of that size, it's a tough matchup. How much uh, did Suggs' defensive effort kind of set a tone in that? Well, I think he does it most nights, you know, to his credit. Um, you know, it's certainly a strength of his. Um, but, you know, good defensive players, they're going to do that. They're going to try and wind you up, um, you know, kind of get you off your spots at times, uh, pressure you, they're very handsy. Um, you know, just finding ways to create create leads, create separation, um, you know, maybe be a little cleaner with our setups. But beyond that, you know, I think that's something we'll continue to see. They're going to put good defenders on our best players.